So 8, 5, factoring when a equals 1. Number 1 is asking you to factor the expression, so let's take a look at it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is label our coefficients a, b, and c. So a is 1, b is 15, and c is 44. Then what we do is we make a factor and sum chart. Basically, the factor is going to be c. So our numbers, when we factor this, are going to multiply up to c, but they're going to add up to b. So we write in our factor is 44, our sum is 15. So we need two numbers that multiply to 44, but add up to 15. Now I'm going to show you on the calculator how to find your factors. So on the calculator, what we're going to do is click y equals, we type in 44 divided by x. And then we're going to press second in graph. Now here is our table. Each pair is a factor. So 2 and 22 are factors, 4 and 11 are factors, and so on. But we need a pair of factors that add up to 15. That would be 4 and 11, plus 4 plus 11 is 15. So now I'm going to show you how to use that. So 4 and 11 are the factors you want, and those two do add up to 15, because 4 plus 11 is 15. So now what we do is we write in parentheses x and x, but then we have x plus 4, and then x plus 11. So then that's going to be the answer. So we have parentheses x plus 4 and parentheses x plus 11. And that's number 1. So number 2, we need to do the same thing. So let's take a closer look at it. So we write a, b, and c for our coefficients in terms. Factor in sum, so we have negative 18 and positive 3. So two numbers that multiply to negative 18, but add up to 3, it's going to be 6 and negative 3. Because negative 6 plus negative 3 is positive 3. Now be careful of the signs. If you put negative 6 and positive 3, that will give you a negative 3 here. So watch your signs carefully. So now we'll just have x plus 6 times x minus 3 as my answer. So let's type it in. So we have x plus 6 and x minus 3. And that's number 2. All right, number 3, it says the area of a rectangular rug is given by the trinomial r squared minus 4r minus 77. What are the possible dimensions of the rug and to use factoring? So let's take a look at it. So we're factoring this. So we have a, b, and c again. There's our table. So factor is negative 77. Sum is negative 4. So two numbers that multiply to negative 77, but add up to negative 4. It's going to be a positive and a negative number, one of each. So we have negative 11 and 7, which does give you negative 4. It will be r minus 11 and r plus 7. Now it says to separate the answer with a comma because we have dimensions. Dimensions aren't written in parentheses. It's written as being separated by a comma, so you've got to type it in like that. Okay, so let's do that. So we have r minus 11 comma r plus 7. Now be careful, you got to make sure you use the correct letters. There are R's here, so there are R's here. And that's our answer for number three. Number four, it says complete the factoring. So let's take a closer look at it. Okay, the shortcut for this one is, since these are both positive, we know the numbers have to multiply up to 84. So divide 84 by seven, since we're given half our answer, and that will give you the other half. So divide 84 by seven, you get 12, so your answer is going to be x plus 12. So let's type that in. So my answer is going to be x plus 12. And that's number 4. Number 5, it says to factor the expression. So let's do that. Okay, so we write a, b, and c and put in our table. So c, our factor, is going to be 28, and our sum is going to be 11. So we want two numbers that multiply to 28, but add up to 11. That's going to be 7 and 4, because 7 plus 4 is 11, and 7 times 4 is 28. So now we'll just have x plus 7 times x plus 4, and that's going to be the answer, so let's type it in. So we have x plus 7 times x plus 4.
and that is the answer, that is number five. Number six, it says factor the expression. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so we have our A, B, and C in our table. So our factor, our C, is going to be 56, and our sum is going to be negative 30. So we need two numbers that multiply to positive 56, but adds up to negative 30. Now remember, there are two types of numbers that multiply to be positive. That is a negative times a negative, and a positive times a positive. So since we have a sum that's negative, we're going to have our factors both be negative. So in this case, negative 2 and negative 28 multiply to 56, but add up to negative 30. So that means my answer is going to be n minus 2 and n minus 28. Remember, my question has n's, so my answers have to have n's. So let's type it in. So I have n minus 2 times n minus 28. And that's number six. Number seven, same deal, let's factor that. So we have our a, b, and c in our tables so that c is going to be 56, that's our factor, and sum is going to be negative 15. So two numbers to multiply the 56 but give you negative 15 are going to be two negative numbers like the last problem, so negative seven and negative eight, which does add up to negative 15. So we're going to have for the answer n minus seven and n minus 8. Now notice I'm using n's because I have n's in my problem. Be careful not to use x. So let's type it in. So I have n minus 7 times n minus 8. And that's number 7. Number 8. This is one where we can just divide to get our second factor. So negative 55 divided by 5 will be negative 11. So my answer is going to be x minus 11. And that's number eight. Number nine says complete the factoring. Same thing. We can divide negative 45 by negative five. We'll get x plus nine. And that is number nine. All right, number 10, it says to factor the expression. So let's do that. Okay, so first we have a, b, and c and our factoring sum chart. So factor of C is negative 18, and the sum is going to be negative 3. So now when we have two numbers multiplying to be negative, one has to be positive, the other is going to be negative. So in this case, we have negative 6 and positive 3, which add up to negative 3. So then for our answer, we're going to have x minus 6 times x plus 3. So let's type that in. So we have x minus 6 times x plus 3. That's number 10. 11, let's do the same thing. So let's take a closer look at it. So we have a, b, and c. So there's a factor in sum chart. c is negative 8. Our sum is 2. So two numbers that multiply to negative 8 but add up to 2 are going to be 4 and negative 2, which 4 plus negative 2 is positive 2. So then our answer is going to be x plus 4 times x minus 2. So that's going to be our answer. Let's type it in. So we have x plus 4 and x minus 2. That's number 11. Number 12, again, says the factor, so let's do that. So we write a, b, and c. We draw our chart. Our factor is negative 18. Our sum is negative 3. So two numbers that multiply to negative 18, but add up to negative 3 is going to be negative 6 and 3, which gives you negative 3. So our answer is going to be x minus 6 times x plus 3. So let's type it in. So we have x minus 6 times x plus 3. That's number 12. Number 13 says the area of a rectangular rug is given by this trinomial. What are the possible dimensions of the rug? And to use factoring. So let's do that. So let's write our a, b, and c. And our factor in sum chart, our factor is negative 77. Our sum is negative 4. Two numbers to multiply negative 77 but add up to negative 4 is negative 11 and 7, which they add up to negative 4. So our answer is going to be r minus 11 and r plus 7. It's dimensions, so we're not going to have parentheses around it. Separate it with a comma. So let's type it in. So we have r minus 11 
and r plus 7. That's number 13. Number 14, the difference here is we have a y squared on our last term. So let's take a look and see how to do that. Okay, so we're going to pretend we don't see the y squared there at the moment and factor this normally. So write a, b, and c and make our factor and sum chart. So our factor is 72, which is c, and our b is going to be 17. The numbers that multiply to 72 but add to 17 are 9 and 8. So we write the r's here normally. Now the difference is for each of these terms here, we're going to put a y at the end of it. So we have r plus 9y and r plus 8y because these two terms multiply to bc. So 9y times 8y give you 72y squared. And we have 8y times r will give you 8ry, which gives you close to the middle term. So 8ry plus the 9ry in the middle give you 17ry. So that's why y's have to be put at the end here. So that's going to be our answer. So r plus 9y times r plus 8y. So then number 15, it says factor the trinomial. We have an s squared at the end, so we're going to treat it the same as the previous problem. So let's do that. So we have our a, b, and c in our factor table. b is negative 12 and b is negative 1. We don't have a 1 there, but it's understood that there's nothing written. So now we multiply two numbers that give you negative 12, but add up to negative 1. So those numbers will be negative 4 and 3. And negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So my answer is going to be c minus 4f and c plus 3f. Again, put the f's on the second terms because these two multiply to be f squared. So this is going to be our answer.